All right, let's make the straps. But before that, you need this dress. But I'm not going to show you how to make this in this video. So for that, I made this dress available for everyone and for free, of course. Just go and check the description and download the file. Done? All right, let's follow now. Okay, so before making anything, I'm going to select everything with Control A, right click and freeze. Now I need this kind of straps first. This is not very hard because a strap will go from here to here. That's that's the main thing. So as you can see in the 2D window from here to there. All right, I'm going to select the rectangle pattern tool and just single click here. The width completely depends on you. I'm going to make it 8 millimeter and height maybe 100. I don't know. No. All right, so see the blue dots? So I'm gonna sew from here, just around here. With the add point and split line, I'm gonna add a point just around maybe here. So the width of the straps is eight millimeter. So I'm gonna do exactly the same. So with the same tool, go with eight millimeter. Or there is another way, which is pretty easy. Just hover over your mouse and right click instead of left click and here make it eight millimeter and okay so this and this is the same and this has to be the same so as i said i'm gonna sew from here to here around here so i'm gonna add another point here and guess what right click and eight millimeter all right, now I'm gonna sew from this to this and to this to this. This is very small as I imagine. First of all, make sure the sewing is not reversed. As you can see, this is reversed, which is problematic. So, any sewing tool, right click and reverse sewing i hope you know that so as you can see the straps is really really small so make it bigger just like this maybe and simulate of course so i think this is very tight i'm gonna make it loose to make it loose make it bigger or to make it tight make it smaller that's that's pretty easy. Yeah, there you go. Now, I'm gonna sew from here to just around here. Very simple. I'm gonna add another point. Um, maybe in the 25 millimeter. This is the gap between straps. Just remember it. It really depends on you how you want. So. Now, I hope you already guessed it, 8 millimeter. Alright, the same thing with this. But um, here I make the gap 25th millimeter. Here don't because this is small. Um, maybe just around here. I mean here, 15 or... It doesn't matter but yeah. Maybe 15 or 12 or 13 yeah whatever this is the gap and now 8 which is the width of the straps all right now i'm gonna go and copy and paste but before that just make it one-sided view and see this is flipped i'm gonna select that right click and flip normal so the normal is outside and now Control C and Control V to copy and sew this to this and this to this. Um, select that and as you can see this is really big so I'm gonna make it small. And traps are a little bit tight just remember that. Don't make it too loose it will look not it will it will not look good 
um i think i need to make this gap a little bit wider to make that um if you just go like this it will distort the pattern which i don't want all right to make this just click this dot right click and convert to curve point and delete the sign maybe 30 or 32 32 maybe two yeah and eight of course so this again and simulate much better i hope all right as you might guess this is really really easy so again maybe this was the 32 and i think i'm going to make it a little bit shorter maybe 28 this is the gap and 8 for the straps and here maybe the gap was 13 um maybe 13 again and 8 so i'm gonna sew it of course sew it with segment sewing tool from this oh first you need to copy all right now copy and paste and sew with the segment sewing tool boom boom and this to this and as you can see this is oops um as you can see this is really long i'm gonna make it short like this and simulate so yeah and the last strap here i'm gonna put just four straps i mean four four eight straps but you can put as many as you can this is not a problem all right the last gap was 28 now maybe 20 oops all right one more tip before putting the point make sure the segment is not selected any of the segment otherwise it will interrupt with the measurement all right maybe 20 now and 8 as always and the last thing this was the 13 maybe yeah 13 here uh, oh no uh, 10 and 10 is the gap and 8 is for the straps i'm um, control c control v again sew it with the segment sewing tool all right now i have to make it smaller maybe yes all right i'm making this first time like the real time so i'm i'm losing word so as you can see this is this is reversed sewing so edit sewing tool single click right click reverse and simulate and with that one side is done now because this is symmetric as you can see from right to left so this will make your job really really easy Select everything, the straps, Control D to symmetric paste on the other side, and it's up to you whether you want this to like, you know, like here or here. I mean, underneath the previous straps or over these previous straps. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. And simulate. All right, with that, the straps is done. All right. In addition, I will make a cross straps. I mean, it's like the weave pattern or something. So, if you really want to make this, continue watching this. Or if you're happy with this this result, just leave this video. But before leaving, select the straps and reduce the particle distance and collision thickness, maybe 1.5, and add a little bit of rendering thickness, maybe 0.5. So there will be a little bit yeah and simulate again yeah this is good so as i said the weave or cross thingy 
I found really an easy way to make this. This section, I want this on top, but this section, I want to go underneath this strap. So I'm going to select to see the exact location and this select mesh box. Click that. And with that, you can select any vertices. So I'm going to select this or something like this, but make sure to reduce the particle distance. Otherwise, it will be really horrible to select thing. Just believe me. Select that and push it backward. It's that simple. And this is going to be on top and this is going to be the bottom. So select that. Select that oops oh come on and make it and push it back and simulate see this is very very easy now i'm going to show it one last time so this is on top now this is going to be bottom so yeah select this and push it back this is on top this is bottom um, so like that and push it back and of course simulate all right i think you get the idea now it's your job to finish the whole straps like that if you want all right i finished the weave straps or something and this looks really good for me all right, now we can make straps like this. You want to make more? All right, click this video to watch how I make a decent sleeve. And I will see you in the next time. Bye.